lead by example. We lead by example. You know, that's why he said, I had to say this for your benefit so that you would believe. We lead by example. You know, when I became a parent, actually when my wife was pregnant with Melody, um, I was told by some relative, well, a few relatives, a few friends, that, you know, and this is something that you may have all heard, you know, and now that you're gonna be a dad, you're gonna have to give up on your dreams and make your life all about your kids. I don't know if you guys ever heard that, but I've heard that before, right? You gotta let go of your dreams and be all about your kids. That is the biggest lie I've ever heard. Now, how many of you know that when the devil deceives, he throws in some truth? There is some truth to that statement. My life does need to be all about my kids. But by doing so, I'm not gonna let go of my dreams. I'm gonna chase it even more. Why? Because I want my kids to grow up to see me lead by example. I want my kids to grow up and see that daddy took no for an answer. Daddy chased his dreams. Daddy worked hard. Daddy made sacrifices. Daddy did this and this. And now he's the, uh, what am I gonna be now? Uh, uh, the CEO of something. I don't know, a, a world famous Christian rapper, right? I, I'm, all, I'm all this. And, be, and it didn't make sense to people, but I want my kids it, to, for it to make sense to them. I want them to see that I led by example. That I didn't give up on my dreams for their sake. I encouraged my dreams. I chased my dreams for their sake. So now, when they grow and they reach the age that I'm at, they believe that they can do it. Because I don't want to give up on my dreams and not have them to look up to me and say, well, daddy gave up on it. You know, maybe I'm not meant to do this. Maybe these reasons against me are violent reasons and I should just give up. No, no, you lead by example. But it is, our, it, is, it is our jobs, it is our duties for us to you know, pursue our dreams, guys, because you know, we're here with a purpose. We have been given a purpose. Each and every one of us were created by the hands of God. And, and we, you know, if, we have, if we have a desire, if we have a dream, then let us believe again. Let us believe like we were children again. Let us not let anyone hinder us anymore. But instead, let's be encouraged. And that's the, that's the real message that I'm trying to get out to you guys, is I want to encourage you. I want to make you feel happy when you leave those doors. I want you to believe in yourselves like you have not before because it is time for us to dream again. 2016, I have been waiting for years to pursue my dreams because I fell for the lies that I couldn't do this because of my situation, because of who I am, because of what I lack. But that is not the case. If you have a dream, it doesn't matter the who, what, where, where, why. God will provide. God will bless you. God will show you the way. So let us believe again. Let us dream again. Let us be like children. Let us encourage our children. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You don't know how? That's fine. In time, it will be, it will be revealed to you. In time, you will know. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. It doesn't say some. It says all Say amen if you believe that amen. today. Amen. Uh, once again, to right. thank you for all that you've done, Lord Father God. To thank you for having a personal relationship with us, Lord Father. Because we, Lord God, we're so sinful in our nature, Lord God. We rely on the world too much, Lord God. But Father God, in this very moment, in this very day, I pray that we, Lord God, release everything onto you, Lord God. We release the things that bind us, Lord God. Break through, Lord God. Things that hinder us, Father. And as we race on to you, like the kids raced on to Jesus, Lord Father, as you call to us and say, let us, let them come, Father God. I pray that we run up to you and give you the biggest hug ever as you cover us with your love, as you cover us with your blessings and mercy, Lord Father. We love you, Jesus. Let us rely on you more than the world. Let us rely on you more than what the people tell us. When they tell us no, Father God, you tell us yes. Let us believe in you, Lord God, more than anyone else. Let us have this relationship in you more than anyone else, Father. As we exit through these doors, Father, lift our spirits up. Let us be encouraged. Let us be the leader, not the follower. As we break through, Lord God, a new era in our lives, that we will be dreamers once again. And we will follow those dreams and make them come true, Lord God, because you are for us. None is against us. None can stand up to you, Father God. We keep our eyes on you, Lord God. We will walk on water just like you. We will do great things in your name, for you have given us a, a assignment, Lord God. You created us from the very beginning, knowing who we were going to be, the amounts of hairs on our head. You know by number, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we will be victorious in your holy name. In your name we pray. Everyone says.